Lisa wig. I introduced this to you a little while ago. I'm just kind of shaking it out. It's just been in the box and I have just enjoyed this so much. I'm gonna kind of show you the interior part. You know, it's just a machine wefted wig. It's a synthetic wig. So you don't have to uh, curl it or flatten it or anything. It's just already styled. It has little tags on the back that you use as a guide. You put that at the um, center of your neckline and it does have adjustable straps, which I didn't need to use, but they're there if you want to tighten it or loosen it. Okay, so I'm going to take the middle part of the forehead and just put it kind of low on my forehead and then pull it up. Here we go. And the cap that I'm wearing came with the wig. There, so what I do is I just shake it and then I part it wherever I want. And um, it's pretty simple. I like it tucked behind my ears. And you can see this kind of creamy ice color looks really pretty with the um, sort of cream colored sweater. I have a little piece of baby's breath and a little rose. I'm gonna put that behind my ear and then I'm gonna pin it. And I think it's gonna look really cute with the little short haircut. So I'm just gonna tuck that right behind my ear and I love it. I think it looks beautiful. So this would be fun, you know, just for every day, just for like Saturday market, feeling like you wanna look a little girly, or especially if you're going to a wedding or like a holiday celebration, you can always use fake flowers or real flowers. These are just some little baby's breath I got at the grocery store, and this is a little rose from our garden. So now I'm gonna show you my outfit, and I will be right back. So like I said, this is just a simple little outfit, some faded jeans, some wedges, and a little hoodie. And then I have my cute Lisa wig on, which I love. The last time I wore it, a little more dressed up. And as you can see, it looks super cute casually too. So I hope you um, enjoyed this video. I'll give you actually another little spin so you can see all the angles of this cute little wig. There's the back, there's the side, and the front. And I really have enjoyed the wig. I think it's just so easy and fun to pop on a wig if you're feeling like you're having a bad hair day. I did get a comment from one person saying, I would love to change my hair, I would love to wear wigs, but I'm afraid of what people will think. And I think I felt that way too the first time I ever tried a wig. I went to Walmart and I was pushing my shopping cart and I thought, oh my gosh, is any, anybody gonna notice that I'm wearing a wig? And the reality is nobody cares. They are worried about their own lives. And the fact that you can put a little wig on and feel better about your hair and better about yourself is a gift. So take advantage of it. And another thing I'll uh, like I'll add is that my friends enjoy it as a change. If I'm going out to lunch with my girlfriend, she'll say, oh, that's really cute. She knows it's not my hair, but she doesn't care. It's just kind of like a little change up. And so people have never given me any negative response. They've never said, oh my gosh, you're wearing a wig. It's kind of like, oh, that looks really cute. It's like, it's a fun little change or nobody notices at all. So good luck, give a wig a try if you want. All the information for this wig is below. It's a La Vivid wig, it's called the Lisa, and it's from Uniwigs, and use the code Missy20 and you'll get a discount. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you again for watching, and I just love you so much. I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.